So this is Engage New York, Grade 3, Module 2, Lesson Number 9. And this lesson, the objective is that students will describe ways to decompose a leader. And it really echoes the lesson that you did on Monday where students describe ways to decompose a kilogram. So the teaching points are that we compare capacities by seeing how much something holds. So just reviewing that idea of capacity. Then that a liter is the same as a thousand milliliters and that we can use place value to help us see the groups of milliliters in a liter. You will need lots of different bottles, okay? You'll need a pitcher of water, you'll need a dropper, and then you'll need some clear plastic cups, and it's really important that these, some of these be pre-labeled. You need one pre-labeled with 100 milliliters and one pre-labeled with 10 milliliters, because that's gonna be your measuring cup. Then this is the order of the lesson. You want kids to predict in problem number one using the containers that you lay out for them. So you have a cup, you have a pint, you have a quart, and you have a gallon, and you say, you know, this is a liter. We write it like this. Which one of these do you think is less than a liter? Which one of these do you think is the same? Which one of these do you think is more? And then you actually measure with the water, and you discuss that and as you compare the capacities by pouring the liter into other containers. Okay. Then it's time to decompose your liter to make it into 100 milliliters, 10 milliliters, and 1 milliliter. Now this time we're not going to take it and draw on it. You should have one liter measured out, marked on an object of some kind. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use your 100 milliliter cup to pour this amount and see how many cups you can fill. Right? And of course, you're going to end up filling 10 cups. Students should be wait working to make predictions of this, and then they should be able to see it physically. Just like you did on Monday, right? you're going to talk this through and do it physically, and then discuss it, talk about a little bit about word problems, and then let the kids go back to their problem set and actually draw this out, describe it in words, written words, and then they're going to write it. So in this case, we would do a thousand milliliters divided by ten was a hundred milliliters. Or ten times a hundred makes a thousand. So each of these was a hundred. And you'd go through, you'd have a picture, writing, and words. You're going to do that to make a liter into 100 milliliters, you're going to do that then with a cup labeled with 10 milliliters. You're going to change your, you're going to show that one of these cups pours into 10 10 milliliter cups. And then you're going to use a dropper. So, so like basically you pour all this water back in and you just take one cup that's 100 milliliters and split that up. Same process, read, draw, and write. Then when you're done, you pour all the water back in and you take one 10 milliliter cup and you use a dropper to split that one up. And again, all of this drawing, writing it in words, representing it in equations. In the student work, they're going to draw and write to explain what you model as a whole class. You're doing this in a whole group. And they should always write their equation. You do part one as a class. You do part two A through E. Part 2, F and G, they do on their own, and then you come back and discuss after you've done all that work. And all of this is relating that to place value, because 10 tens make 100, 10 hundreds make 1,000.